Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Downtown Disney update, major closures, so much going on. It's a <laughs> lot, lots of things closing, lots of things opening, changes everywhere. So make sure you pay attention because we have a lot to share with you. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. We have a lot to do. I think we should get started. Yes. By the way, it is officially spring break here at the resort and reservations will tell you that because there's none available. There has been nothing available. So <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're trying to get into the park, good luck. The good one luck, thing yeah. I will say, this is a good time for us to give you a downtown Disney update because so many people can't get into the park right now. True. So that's why we're doing the, we're doing the work for you. We're gonna let you know what's going on. A big update on the fountain. It's staying the same. It better stay the same. Yeah. If that goes, again, I riot. Yeah. I riot. It's starting to warm up. It's almost 80 today, I'd say. It's it's close. So it's in the nice. high 70s, probably. Yeah. World of <laughs> Disney. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go check this later. You know what? We actually will make a whole separate video because there is that much yeah. new merchandise. Yeah. I think it, it deserves its own video. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely tell it is packed because it is a Tuesday, normally about Tuesday afternoon. It's not this busy. No. And that, that just gives you any indication. Okay, the hydrant planter is looking amazing. Oh, I love it. Uh, I feel like they should put hydrangeas in here because of the hydrant. Get it? Hydrangea. Oh, I get it. I get it. Um, or maybe turn the hydrant uh, into a flower, like via paint job. I don't know. I think this is what we need to do at our house. We keep getting inspiration everywhere. Yes. Oh, well, we've got a development here in the middle of the district in front of World of Disney. What do we have, Katie? What is it? Are they making a... Do you think maybe it's just storage of stuff? What if it's a time capsule? No. What if Where it's a downtown do you... Disney time capsule? Why did your bra time brain capsule? go to time capsule? I don't know. I'm telling you. It's probably just some surface work uh, to the ground, I'm assuming. But I would love to say that it's a time capsule. Why a time capsule? Why, how did your brain How long go has downtown Disney been here? I, mean, I don't know. I don't remember. See, put you on the spot now. Look, there's the hydrangeas. See? I'm just saying, Katie, we need hydrangeas to be by the hydrants. Now, they look great here, too. Don't get me wrong. I like how they've done the like different patterns. It's like the patchwork at uh, Storybook Land a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this tree is awesome. It's blooming right now. Let's take a look. Another hydrant garden. These are really neat. Old 57, homage to Heinz ketchup. 57 secret. sauce. Ooh, look at this garden over here. Sorry, we're doing a little uh, horticulture and beyond before we get into the guts of the district here, but look at this. You know, you have to stop and smell the flowers. That's Or roses, but whatever. I like that. Literally, Literally and figuratively. You know what's interesting is that, you know, you got the hotel on the upper deck. It's too bad that it's not shopping on the second deck. I know, like, that would be cool, huh? Yeah, if they had like a food court or like an area where you could just chill at least. Um, I don't know, kind of like they do at like City Walk, they have like an upper level. Anyways, and would you look at this? Remember we said closure as well. The Disney dress shop. We just went in here not too long ago. This location has closed. Please visit our new location next to Disney Home. Oh boy. Wonderground. Oh, it has to be Wonderground because yeah. that was down, that was closed. Because that disappeared right before this right. went dark like this. So, okay. uh, what is going to go here? Hmm. I can't I, think. What are we next to? Marceline's? Because me and Dylan were talking about, oh, they should put in a Gideon's, but not. they wouldn't do that next, next to Marceline's. I have a feeling this will be something food related. I think so too, because, because I, I think there's not enough food, like small things. Yeah. I think it would really benefit to be a small I definitely am ganachery. My, my yeah, my bet is Gideon's. going on food. Although, the weird part is, yeah, I, I want it to be those, but it might not be. Anyways. <laughs> a ganachery, or what if they brought back Sprinkles? Oh. Sprinkles makes a return Are you to downtown start the rumor? Disney. I know, should I like make a rumor happen? And that, honestly, I would be so What happy. if they just moved something else here and then made something else go? Like, what if they took Jamba and put it here? I not, wouldn't be happy. I, there'd be no point in it, no, but I'm yeah, just what's saying. what's the point? I don't know. I feel like there's a possibility. I'm trying to cause controversy here, Katie. Well, I think sprinkles would be a good controversy. I want to get behind that controversy. <laughs> so would Dylan. Although, does controversy have to be a bad thing? No, but okay. it's so much more fun to say controversy. 
True. Oh yeah, what's the one that you said? You said a word, it was like when the storm was going on with wind. Oh, you're talking about debris, yeah. Yeah, I, Spence I, never says debris. I know that this the S is silent, but I just refuse to say it. And I feel like at a certain level, debris is like light debris, but when it gets heavy duty, it's debris. That makes no sense, Well, it's but the I like plural. It. It's the plural of debris. Yeah. Even though debris is already kind of plural in its form because it means like a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of, you know? Yeah. Makes sense. Where's where this going? This, I don't know. We've this lost. is supposed to be about downtown Please Disney. Please don't click off. And now we've gone to Debris. Uh, anyways, we, we shall <laughs> trudge on. Yeah, we have a rare break in the crowd to make it straight across. And Also, there's no line at Salt and Straw. See, this is Well, there is never the is at this go. hour. Yeah. But give it an hour. When it's dessert time. When it's Yeah, are... give it one hour and it's going to be, Well, no, because you know, it'll still be afternoon in an hour. I don't know. You have to give it, like until seven o'clock at night. So they still have the serious, seriously delicious series. That's good to know. Oh, man. I wonder what they're gonna do for April. Checking out the succulent, what was formerly a, a fountain, but the design, the pattern is so cool. I like how they did the spiral. But I think the biggest thing over here is that Centrico has their sign up. Look at they that. They do. So many like things are happening at Centrico. A lot of their decor. And if you look on the upper deck, oh, yeah. their patio matches the oh, Centrico my. vibe with those kind of those hanging chandeliers, those, uh, I don't know what you call those things. What did we call them before? We I were like, forgot. All I know is that's definitely going to give us so much more space. Honestly, I'm just happy that there's going to be more like, you know, dining options because I feel like I know I don't know about a lot of people, but I feel like too many people don't really go to Ballast Point as much. Well, I think they don't have much of a choice, so they go. I don't know. Yeah, um, so I'm just kind of happy to have some new, you know, options and locations. Wow, what a beautiful day here at the fountain at Tortilla Joe's, the Agave Fountain, as I refer to it. And uh, days are numbered here, and uh, I think we heard the 7th. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's still April 7th. Right. If it's wrong, correct us, but, you know, things are a little conflicting. But I'm going to try uh, to dip in there before, uh, before that day comes. Yeah, and, and if, uh, if this goes when the closure happens, the reason I think that it might go is because I'm looking at all the, like, damage on it. And I'm like, if they were going to fix it, I feel like they would have kept it in better condition. So that's the only reason I'm having some serious and sad doubts. And it was just I mean? doing its spout thing. Uh, oh, all man. the kids were so pumped because, you know, it was totally doing its thing. I wonder what's going to go here, you know? Like, it's definitely not going to be Tortilla Joe's, but, like, what is going to be here? Yeah. I really want to know, and I'm just like... Is the building going to stay? Is it going to go? I'm having like so much anxiety about this. Is anybody else like anxious too? Like it's already sad enough that we're getting rid of Tortilla Joe's, but like what's going to go here? Is the fountain going to be gone? Closures are happening, man. So let us know if you are anxious too. Like, do you want to know like what's going to go there? We haven't had any announcements either. Like, no. I kind of feel like even the dress shop thing, there was no formal announcement. No, we saw the Wonderground sign get covered and we're like, uh oh. Yeah, it's like a lot of this stuff is not really, it's kind of like we're playing musical stores here. Like, everything's closing and moving and we just don't want to, I don't know. Hey, we've got an open spot in this flower bed here. This is usually where they put like maybe the Christmas decor or any of the theme decor. So I wonder if they're going to put something in here. I guess we got to check the other beds to see if they have spots. We will keep you posted on this development. It should be one of those things that like, I was looking on Google Earth and I saw this spot and I went to investigate. There it is. All right, checking out the signage back here. Look at this, Tiendita, the taco place, has its sign up. Paseo's had its sign up for a while. Somebody's in there with like a router. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, yeah. Progress down here at Pele and Tiendita. And look at this, the biggest change that we've seen in a while. We were wondering why the Wonderground sign was gone. Well, there you go. The Disney dress shop has moved in. Let's go check it out. I already see some new merchandise. Oh, cool. Look at this. Right off the bat. So they must be doing an attractions series because this is definitely, oh my gosh, how cute. Look at, there's Stitch. You see him inside? I love it. I <laughs> this love the is colors. really cool. If only Tomorrowland was actually like this. I love that they need to feature Tomorrowland, but they have to make it the vintage Tomorrowland that it was actually cool because you're advertising a Tomorrowland that doesn't exist anymore. What about those ears, Katie? I love the ears. I love them and I would buy them and I still might. I don't know yet. Yeah, pretty awesome. 
it's, it's like just, a you know. pastel tangerine. Yeah, no, I like I said, I absolutely love it, but I do just find it comical that you're advertising something that doesn't exist. Maybe it will. Oh, here's a display. Uh, look at the jersey. Oh, yeah. Team Tomorrowland. That's cool. Pinstripe. Oh, there you go, 55. That's awesome. Oh, people mover. There's a ringer tee. I'm not a fan, but, and a spirit jersey here that, um, Looks to be Space Mountain, I don't know, or just Tomorrowland, what is it's it? It's just, the, like I said, it's that vintage Tomorrowland. Here's what the back of the Spirit Jersey looks like. Oh, okay. And they have that, you know, that... Uh, it's like iridescent. Yeah, but that shape of the T. Oh, that's the support. It's like the monorail beam Yeah, that's the beam, yeah. Yeah, and then again, it's that vintage, what used to be, except not really vintage because of the monorail. Right. Right, like that monorail is more current. We still have the Although, shape. that one is based off a really old design, so oh, okay. it's, it's just kind of a melange, though. You're right. Then we have the shape still of, of uh, Space Mountain. That's yeah. the same. But everything else, it's, though, is... I call it the orange melange. Orange melange. And then, of course, the accompanying backpack. I like how they did the monorail, how it's puffed out. That is cool. It's $78. There's the side of it. That's cool. It says Tomorrow Land. There's the tumbler. It's a really cool tumbler. That's super cute. What a great souvenir. And the tumbler, by the way, is $29.99. A little pricey, but you know, if you like it, I do like the orange. Yeah. I think those are really cool. And I really like the ears. I, wanna... I would like that shirt too if it wasn't a ringer. I know. And you notice it's a wider ringer and it a is. flatter ringer. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a new school version, which maybe that would work. Yeah. Because the reason I don't like the other ringers is because they bunch up and it makes the collar really weird. Yeah. That seems very fixed and it's yeah. It uh, seems like it would lay flat. Hmm, that's interesting. That's but, pretty cool. Yeah, this is... Um, a little busy, but I, I've always been a fan of changing the color of the hood and then the kind yeah, of the bottom. the, the pocket the, and everything. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of nice. And I then like it. using some of the design to and it's offset soft. that color. Okay, here's the back. Let me guess, it's that other design. Yep. There you go. Yeah. I have to say it's very light and very soft. And the thing I like about it most is, yeah. you know what's funny is it's making me, uh, it's reminding me this it, of the um, the queue for rocket rods. Yeah. When we went in there, they would show like, it was kind of like blueprints or I can't remember what it was, yeah, but they it did. was it kind was... of a neon thing, you yeah. know? And of course they have socks, socks, yeah, socks, I saw socks, those. socks, socks. Those are pretty awesome. The people mover, those are your feet pull movers. Oh, I like what you did there. They're $16.99 and you get two, but look at, too uh, bad you won't really see that. <laughs> it might get a little dirty. I know, I don't want to step on Disneyland. I know. So it looks like they have a whole display of Lily Pulitzer stuff right here. Yeah. Looks like 40% off right now for everything Lily Pulitzer. That's, that's a good deal. I noticed Lily isn't as popular here in California as it is in Florida. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yep. And another new line I noticed is an Alice in Wonderland theme. I like the Cheshire. This reminds me of Brian. Yeah. He would have really liked this whole collection. Although, I don't think Brian could have worn the midriff no, shirt. No, definitely not. <laughs> he would have, but for fun, he would he have. He probably would have. This is like Magical Mystery Tour right here. That is Full really cool. Peter Max vibes. So what does it have on it? Oh, wow, just everything. Wow. I love the colors. And, of course, they have a Dooney and Burke print. Wow. I, I think that's actually really cute. If you're a big Alice in Wonderland fan, and good timing on that for spring, you know? This is a cute one, too. A little small. Let's see. This one is $2.28 for this. And this isn't going to have one of those, like, prints where you can, like, pick something, whereas one of these, you can actually get a different print. Just taking a look at the space and how much more it accommodates this type of store. I feel like the artwork was tough to appreciate in here. Definitely a better fit. They've lowered the ceiling, I think, right? Yeah, because remember the, that used to be, yeah, they used to have all the artwork, big, huge oh, prints up right. there. Oh, you're right. Wow. Uh, That's but it weird. just, I don't know. Yeah, and it's nice. So to match those shorts, we found this cool mug. I like Very that. Very interesting, 1999. I love the colors and I like the little handle. It's a little small, but it's cute nonetheless. And we found this new bucket hat. I wonder if it's reversible. Man, that would have been so popular in the 90s. Uh, underground rave scene. This would have been the hat to have, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. There was, remember this one uh, was called Alice's House. That would have been, man. 
So this hat is $34.99. This is a really cool sweater. The only thing is it looks a little short. Yeah, it is. But I love it. I love the colors. I think this, if they had this in a print for a shirt, I feel like that would sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Don't you? Oh, yeah. I love it, though. Look Let's see what else they have. Is, uh... High five? It's almost something I would wear. It's like my outfit. What is this? Is this real? Is this something that they yeah. would have here? This is so cool because... The three caballeros. Yeah, we used to get these uh, back in the 80s. It, it was a company that made them called Senor Lopez. But we used to go to Ensenada and get these on surf trips for like, you know, a couple bucks for one of these. It's really soft. Yeah. The ones we would get were a lot rougher, but that's pretty nice. I like it. I like it. And it's $59.99. And they have new ears to match. It says that they glow in the dark. So this is obviously for... Um, over there at Epcot. Totally, love that ride. Yeah, totally an Epcot. I love that. These are really cute. I love the little guitar and I love the color of the bow. Super cute. They also have this throw blanket and it is 50 by 60 inches and it is really good quality. Super kind of heavy. Yeah. Wow. I bet you this would look amazing like all spread out you know what i mean like yeah. the colors alone i think something we need to point out is just all the collections here like it's just laid out so nicely i feel like i can find everything and see everything a lot better uh now back to the uh three caballeros that's nice look at that i love that shirt and that's, that's the, the back, back. Yeah. yeah so let's see what the front looks like oh that's cool oh viva mexico that that's, that's, is you know awesome. when we go to epcot that's my first stop. I was going to say, I feel like if you're not wearing this at Epcot, yeah. you know, um, I like this one, but we're missing the bottom half of it. Yeah. Not sure why we keep uh, that's hacking it in the, off the... They're, they're flying on it. That's the bottom half of the t-shirt. Oh, that's they where it, it is. Into a carpet. Oh, yeah. there you go. And because this is the dress shop, of course, they have beautiful dresses. This, um, I believe, is from Encanto. It's like the Encanto scene, but this is a gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous dress. Look at this. Good quality, too. Very soft. This is another little collection. This is super, super soft. Yacht Rock, do you believe in magic? Magic in this pullover. And it is $49.99 for that one. I'm also seeing a lot of these, like, dad shirts. This Turn is a... Uh, this is... <laughs> that is daddy. <laughs> you said what you know me too well. <laughs> That's what I knew she was going to say. That. Sorry about it, but Chernabog is like it's the daddy him, of him and Triton are like, listen, I regret to this day during Phantasmic AP days, uh, I don't know, like 10 years ago, I didn't buy that sipper because I didn't want to carry it around. And I regret it to this day. But yes, we also have a 101 like that. Dalmatians. That one's pretty cute. Lucky, get down. This one's cute because it's got like a like the vintage flair to it. It does. It is cute. $64.99. They're like the Tommy Bahamas of the Disney stuff. Yeah. Oh, whoa, this one's like a picture. It is uh, the Muppets. That's wild. Funny they're showing us Muppets when they took them away from us. Yeah, we're Muppetless. Bring the Muppets back. Yeah. Bring the Muppets back. The tie-dye collection. Uh, I love this collection. This is really new. Katie hasn't seen this uh I saw Yet. it on our video, like a little bit of it, and yeah. I said to Spence, I am getting so much of this. I think this is such a cute cup. Let's see. This that, I didn't see that. I don't like tie-dye. I'm not a big tie-dye girl, but I like I like when they do tie-dye yeah, print. Like if this is on the black t-shirt, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get it. Um, and obviously I'm not a bucket hat wearer, but this is reversible, $39.99 for that. There's the reverse. All right, and again, more collections, but I haven't seen this cup yet. And I think I know what's coming home with me because this mug is everything. I mean, seriously. Is it one of those stay hot mugs? No, no? it's not one of the double insulated. After, it's only $19.99. Is it dishwasher safe? No, I would have bought this. All right, we're back outside. Uh, just looking at the window display. I like how they did this on a panel. It's like in a frame and it's like shows, you know, a, a collection within a frame so you know that it's one thing. I like that. Here's another one like I like how they did that. It's a good idea. It does look nice. Good display. And obviously you can see it better at night, but you know, yeah. looks good now. So I'm looking in the planners and I uh, haven't seen any more of the cutouts. There was like a square cutout in one of them and I thought, "Oh, are they going to start putting some theming in?" Well, remember that one display? I'm wondering if that 
set up is coming soon. Maybe. I could have sworn that was for spring. Because right in front of the dress shop, the new dress shop, is a cutout, perfect square inside the yes. planter. So. I wonder if there is going to be some sort of a display soon. We'll have to keep our eyes on the developments. True. All right, we're cruising. We're in the, what would you call this part here? I don't know, the bridge? It is a bridge. I like the midway. I'd call this the midway. <laughs> the midway bridge. It still needs to have some bridge in it. So they still have that Mexican street corn dog over there, blue ribbon corn dogs. And then we have Clyde's. Over here on the other side of the monorail, and it's so weird to see a second story. It almost feels like it used to, even though it's set back a little more like where the old Starbucks was and confirmed the Parkside Market. There it is. Any speculation has now been confirmed. Sip and Sonder Parkside Market right here. Also, it's gonna house the Parkside Market bar. Look at this. Oh yeah, I like that. That's the second story. So yeah, that's gonna be right up there. And I'm assuming uh, Futurama is on Disney Plus, so they keep uh, pumping that all over the district. We got a photo op here. I love Mr. Crane. I wonder if he knows Mr. Plow. All right, Star Wars Trading Post is open. They need a sign because it looks crazy up there. A lot of work going on, some fences. Uh, it almost looks themed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, if they were to put like some of that camouflage stuff on the fence, but now nah, they're doing work. Uh, it's still open though. So something else about Star Wars Trading Post that we just found out, uh, they're doing something, it's kind of in relation to Season of the Force based on its timeline, it seems like. I would like. think so. So starting on April 3rd, if you're a magic key holder, wall supplies last, um, you're able to do the buy now and then come and pick it up later option. And again, it's just gonna be for a limited time and it's gonna be only at the Star Wars Trading Post. Wow, check this out. So where the stage used to be to the to the left of frame and then the path obviously to the ESPN zone and the exit, former ESPN zone. Looks like just resurfacing, maybe putting in some new infrastructure under that. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but you can see you can see the edge of the world right there. Big photo op for Hulu on Disney Plus. That's pretty intense. Yeah, you may have noticed your app on, you know, like Roku and whatnot, it, it changed to like an aqua-ish color. It's basically a photo op and they're showing you that if you stand uh, where you stand and then you'll look like you have the Disney oh, Plus and the Hulu uh, hat. And this mural art Got is it. by Ryan Riller. All right, let's go check out the Earl of Sandwich RV. Ooh, this is a nice seating spot. Hey, this changed because of Hulu. Oh yeah, Bob's Burger. Uh, you just take a load off right here. This take is a, load a nice off and... spot in the shade. Get a fuel rod and just in, and eat your sandwich. Yeah. You know that's what I'm wondering is where are you gonna eat your Earl of Sandwich? You could pick it up right here, but you know what I mean. The where Earl are you gonna of go? Fuel Rods. Well, there it is, the Earl of Sandwich RV. I call it that. Look at George Washington's over here. He he knew the Earl. He's pretty. Uh, he's familiar with the menu. He's familiar with some of the goodness that they provide. The world's greatest hot sandwich. There's the Earl right there. You could tell he was hanging out with, it's got that Thomas Jefferson kind of hairdo there. Pretty fancy. And then here's the pickup window. Interesting, right? Yeah, well, at least they're still here. They provide a, a really good product for not too much money. And then what's this? We got a uh, reflecting pool going in here. No, it must just be some more surface work and they've got it tarped off from the rain. And uh, it rained pretty good, as you can see. So yeah, pretty interesting developments here at Downtown Disney. Video screen's out, no signal. We gotta check the uh, HDMI, Katie. <laughs> okay, got can you it. Go, can you go check that, please? Thanks. And I thought I knew this, but I guess I didn't. Another Michelin awarded uh, restaurant five times. So that means there's two Michelin star situations here, uh, I think. For Carlos Gaetan, it's it's him as a chef, and then I think this for the restaurant brand. I think there's different categories, right? Mm -hmm. Who knows what'll come of that building? What a what a huge space that needs to be utilized for the district because uh, it's like an anchor point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we need something to happen. I know. Hopefully, we get some announcements soon. We're gonna wander over to the hotel, little Trader Sam's, Ooh. I think, or something Tangarilla, because um, it's nice out, and we need to hydrate to continue this journey today as we know it. I love it. Nice in the shade here. Under the sorcerer's 
cap. <laughs> Hat, cap, I don't know. Nod to the monorail gates, yes. Always acknowledge them. The pool is... Poppin'. The pool's poppin'. All right, you guys, we've arrived at the Tango Roa Terrace. I should say the Tango Roa Terrace. And we procured a couple of Dole Whip floats. Yes. And this is how we celebrate spring break, right, Spence? Oh, yeah. It's so good. Mm. Taking my time to the to the rum part. <laughs> it's honestly just so good, so refreshing. Mm. Where even are we? We're on vacation. I've unearthed the core, and I can see uh -oh. the deadly... It's like the... The magma. Hello. <laughs> All right, that was a nice little break. Looking towards the DVC Tower and the Disneyland pool, monorail pool. It's still, still under refurbishment over there. They got it gated off. I imagine they're getting it ready for summer. Uh, but that is a fun, fun slide. We've got footage of that. You can uh, look up our Disneyland hotel videos and we usually, I think the latest one we have that in there. I think so. Looks like it's gonna be open pretty soon. Yeah, they're almost done, I think. All right, we're gonna head down to Goofy's Kitchen. Oh yeah, a little update here. Through the jungle. No, I kind of wore appropriate ears for that. Goofy's jungle. Goofy's jungle. Hey, look. <gasps> Springtime for okay. Goofy's Kitchen. So I wonder if they're gonna do this to Downtown Disney. I was hoping so. Because, because remember I saw that plot earlier. Yeah. Maybe that's what they're gonna do. But that's really neat. That is really cute. Because that sign is different. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I love Chip right there. Where's Dale? Is Dale somewhere Is he over hiding there? on the other side? Maybe Dale's just not installed yet. Oh, I think, nope, I thought I saw him. Right but there. yeah, I don't see Dale. A chip without Dale is like a Spence without a Katie. <laughs> it's like a kite without a string, Katie. Did you see this sign here for the Tangaroa Terrace? I actually really like that. It's basically instead of the, you know, because the coffee shop sometimes isn't open. Oh. So go there, but look at, doesn't it remind you of one of the characters in Greece? I was just about to say, it reminds me of the, Greece. The drive-in movie, yep. ice Stranded cream and the hot the dog. Drive -in, and, and then it's playing in the background the whole time and you can't even look at Danny because you're watching that in the yeah. background the whole time. Well, did you notice he's wearing Mickey gloves? Oh, And he's got Mickey cute. shoes. So it's it's uh, almost like Mickey Mouse in the form of an espresso cup. I love it. And he's got a top hat looking swanky. <laughs> Back in my day, you'd strut all the way over to Tango Roa for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Because back in my day, a cup of coffee is a cup of coffee. <laughs> Not sure what that meant. Back in my day, I would have known. We now venture to the Fantasia shop. So one of our favorite shops because it's so very themed, obviously, Ooh, to Fantasia. Look, look at, it. at this. Oh, Trader Sam's. Oh, man. Attire. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's this? Is it's that the new... It's a chips uh, and dip bowl. Or is that a new scorpion bowl? It's a chips and dip bowl. That's genius. And that is $69.99. They also have a tiki mug for $34.99. It's the oh, faces. From the tiki room. Ooh, yep. that's hard not to purchase. Dang. Put it down, Katie, put it down. Oh, magic band. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this shirt. Oh, longboard dad shirt. That's Love not it. Disney, I think that's just No, but it's a longboard standard dad fare. shirt. Oh, look at these, Katie. Ooh, those are cute. There's the hippopotami mug from Trader Sam's. Hippopotami tie. Yep. It's cute. $74.99 for that. That's neat. Here's our favorite section in this whole shop. It's the hotel merchandise. And just kind of some kind Disneyland. Of some retro stuff, yeah. Oh, and we that's love the, cool. uh, the robe because it's got the sign on it, you know? That's a great souvenir. This one's really cool, except it's a ringer. Always a ringer tee. They have some new DVC ears. I don't know if I really like those that much, but, you know they're not bad I like the other ones that they have better I always dig the uh, the patterns they do like this they're kind of small yeah. world looking like these ears it's it's this one I like better yeah it's a great great look and look at there it is yeah the whole thing it's a good print I, I definitely like this one a little bit better see this is like old world of Disney to me Spence I have a photo op I want to go see Left I over. love it I probably need to be in the Sun huh yeah there you go this is so cute I love it. I like what they did with these. It's so cool. That is cute. Good idea. Topiaries need a little trim. Uh, <laughs> look at a little shaggy, need a little shave. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys you look amazing. You look so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at those outfits. Oh my goodness. 
Are you guys hosting lunch? Dinner now. Oh, dinner now. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys look so fabulous. Clarabelle, that outfit. Give us yeah. a twirl. Give us a twirl. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is great. Okay, Goof. Yes, Goofy. Does yes. Does he have a flower on top of his head? Yeah. And you have a carrot? If that doesn't scream spring, I don't know what does. You guys, fabulous. Enjoy your dinner. There they are. Oh my gosh, amazing. All right, well that was fun at the end, a little uh, little character sighting there. I loved it, good way to close out the day and a fun day it was, even though there was a lot to look at, a lot to talk about. I loved seeing the dress shop. I really hope that that does stay like that because yeah. it's a winner. Thank you to our Patreons. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.